Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through February 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So, uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Now that didn't come up, so I just had to look at it. So you may, you may get angry this week. You may need to control yourself. Um, anyhow, uh, what do we have for Scorpio for the week ahead? What do we have for Scorpio? Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So, we just had the lightning card. You're going to have to control your emotions this week. Angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So, you are protected. Dog barking, advice from a friend. So, there's a friend that can give you some advice. You might want to talk to your friend about whatever this is that is frustrating you. You do have some sort of spiritual guidance, so you are protected. You are protected, um, so keep that in mind. I do see that you obviously need to control yourself because of that lightning and feeling tied down or frustrated. Just remember that you are protected. There's nothing to worry about. Don't even bother getting mad or getting angry. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's a friend that can help you. What do we have for Scorpio? Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? So you are doing excellent work right now. You should be you should uh, be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you have accomplished. People respect you. They respect your work. Maybe it's time to step it up to the next level. Maybe it's time to get some new new training, you know, or new uh, experience so that you can step it up to the next level. You are obviously very very skilled at whatever you do. What do we have for Scorpio? Ten of Pentacles, abundance, good business, money, stability, security. You know, for some of you, you could start your own business. And if you have started your own business, it's probably going to prosper. This is prosperity. This is a strong foundation. This is working on building a strong foundation or a strong business. This is success. It's financial success because of your hard work. There could, you could be going into business by yourself. You could be taking over a family business. Page of Pentacles, Golden Opportunity. Uh, this is learning new skills. This is learning new skills. You may be doing something new this week. This is a new business prospect or a new prospect period. You are definitely going to be getting an opportunity that can grow and flourish into something very, very abundant. Somebody may be making you an offer or you may be signing a contract or, you know, it feels like something to do with family business as well. A lot of work here and success. 
You're going to need to focus. You are going to learn. You are going to need to learn new skills. But I see you doing that, wanting to do that, wanting to put in the work to do that. And because you do that, you are going to be successful. This is a week where you start on a new project of some sort, and it does become successful. Think about this: in ten years, you will be living a very comfortable life because of this. Extremely comfortable. Some of you could definitely be starting your own business, you know, or going into the family business, taking it over, something like that.、Um, but there is a new opportunity here、um, that can lead to a lot of success. You are very skilled. Ooh, six of Pentacles reverse. That's a problem. Seven of Cups reversed. Now that's seeing clearly. That's clarity coming out of confusion.、Um, there may have been abuse of power. There may have been an abuse of power. You may not have been getting what you deserve. You may have been confused, or you know, you may have been、um, in something with somebody that you know was a con man. This person was a fraud, or you know, they weren't giving you what you deserve. You know, this is an injustice. You may. Some of you may be leaving a job, doing your own, starting your own business. I think I already said that, didn't I?、Um, I don't think you've been getting what you deserve. I feel like,、uh, but you're seeing very, very clearly, or somebody else is. Somebody is seeing your value, whether it's you seeing your own value, or seeing your your own ability, your own capability, or somebody else is seeing that you're capable.、Um, The Six of Pentacles reverse could be a rejection, a one-sidedness. You know, you may have been in something that caused you a lot of、uh, confusion. You know, when you and you weren't getting any respect, or you weren't getting what you deserved. But I think, I think now you see very clearly. There's clarity. You're not. There's. This is coming out of confusion, making a decision. So you're making a big, big decision this week, and this decision is. About going after what you deserve. Ah, there's definitely some sort of rejection here. Somebody, you may be rejecting somebody and going your own way. There could be a midlife crisis. You could be dealing with somebody, maybe somebody that is older than you, that is walking away, that is no longer going to give something. And I know I'm changing the story. You may be dealing with somebody else that has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. They and they have made it. They they they're deciding to go down a new path, and and therefore now you're being put in that position.、Um, I do see a spiritual awakening here. I feel like somebody has been in isolation. You know, they've been thinking a lot, and I feel like they've made a decision. They've made a decision, and 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 it does have to do with going down a new path. Whether it's you that has made the decision after thinking a lot, or somebody that you live with, because it could be somebody. It could be a family member with the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody has made a decision that they want to go down a new path, and that changes it for you. You know, it changes the the whole scenario for you in some way.、Um, death, death is an ending. It's the end of a, it's the end of a, a situation. This is a profound life change. It's a separation. There could definitely be a separation here. Somebody is. Releasing. This is a time of transition. It's a time of transformation. Somebody has reached the end of the road. You know, they they are.、Uh, they've made a decision to end something. They're not going to give to a situation anymore. They've made they've made a decision. The decision is made. It is made. They've thought about it a lot. It's a well thought out decision. We have somebody here that was wasn't awakened, but now they are, and they're ready. They're ready for a change. Somebody is making a very profound life change. This is the end endings that lead to new beginnings. So there's an ending. And a new beginning here. So something is ending, and it, whatever is ending, you weren't getting. You weren't getting what you deserved, but now you are going to. Now you're going to be getting an, an opportunity that, you know, it's going to be a lot of work, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. You're going to have to work really, really, really hard. But you have the skills to do it. You have the skills. You have the know-how. You have the、um, foundation. It feels like. 
if you don't have the foundation, which I think that you do, you can build the foundation. You have you have all the skills to build the foundation. Anyhow, but I think the, for some of you, I think the foundation is is already here. Some of you may be obtaining property, or you may be receiving a gift uh, of some sort. Um, whatever is happening could be a raise for some of you, or it, you, some of you could be put into a a pay raise. Could be a pay raise. But I, for some of you, I think it's starting your own business, or or it's starting a new project for your business, you know, or going into the taking over the family business. I think I already said this. Some of you may be dealing with a father that is passing something on to you. Um, doesn't have to be. Um, but there is some sort of major enlightenment here, and we do have a major change that is happening. It is a very positive change by the looks of you've manifested something and, and you're being given a you're being given a gift. This is absolutely a gift. Um of some sort. We have a separation that leads to a new beginning. I mean, that's what this is. This is a separation that leads to a new life, that leads to a new beginning. Queen of Swords reversed. Somebody may be following their heart and, and they've been using logic, you know, and using their mind over their heart. I think that there's a bitch here as well. No offense. I think that somebody's been dealing with a, re with a real bitch. Somebody that is miserable. Um, has, And I feel like it's the end with this person. Um, it doesn't have to be a bitch. It could be a man. And, you know, you can call people whatever you want. But anyhow, um, we have an ending with an individual that is nasty. This person is nasty. This person is miserable. Uh, uh, OCD, kind of. Maybe OCD, you know, obsessive, compulsive, uh, bitter, resentful, hateful. I feel like this. the ending is with this person. This person um, uh, has caused you a lot of grief. And I feel, but I feel like this person is going to be rejected. They're going to be, it feels like almost like they're going to be sent away or they're leaving or something. They're going down. This person's going, whatever that means, they're going down. Um, they lie a lot. This person lies. Um, or they don't communicate well. You, it's an ending with whoever this person is. This person is bitter and resentful. Um, not very knowledgeable either. I feel like you're dealing with a hateful individual. That's who the ending is with. It's a, it's, it could be a male or a female. This person is uh, uh, spiteful. Yeah, there's a spiteful individual here that is has been causing some sort of grief. And I feel like uh, there's been a lot of one-sidedness. There's a lack of equality and there's a lack of... Um, reciprocation or something like that you're dealing with somebody that may I don't know if this person hates you or whatever could be and I feel the ending is with this person and I feel like you are and now you're you're free you're free and, and and it feels like your comfort is gonna come back you know if you were feeling uncomfortable or something like that your comfort is you're gonna be comfortable you're gonna be financially stable you're gonna something is happening there's freedom here freedom from a nasty Nasty individual, put it that way, because this is freedom and this is nasty. Um, ooh, now the Queen of Wands. There's there could be two people here. Somebody maybe go headed towards some but something that is more fertile. You know, they're letting go of the nasty individual and they're headed towards something that is more fertile. Some there's being your own boss. Some of you are going to become your own boss. That's for darn sure if you're not already. Um, this is having confidence, willpower, determination, strength, courage. Uh, so we have somebody here that is starting a new life in a more positive direction. That's what's happening. Um, you are about to get an exciting offer from somebody that could lead towards a lot of comfort and prosperity. Okay? Um, somebody is seeing very, very clearly 
that it's time to end something with a nasty individual and they're going towards something more positive and they're going to be given an opportunity. It's a new opportunity. It's going to be a lot of work, but I think that you are, are capable of taking it. Becoming your own boss for a lot of you, if you're not already. Things are going to grow. Things are definitely going to grow. You're headed down the right path. You may have been in isolation or in confinement or in a dark place. It's over. It is. It's over. I don't, I don't see that at all. Things are going to work out in your favor. I also feel like there is somebody here that is making an offer towards, you know, if, and this won't be for everybody, towards another woman. It feels like they've been with a real bitch and, and they have another woman here that is more uh, positive. You know, it's a positive energy, more confident, has, has more, you know, this person could be a business owner. This person is leadership material, you know. So somebody is, and I think it's being clear of a choice. We have a choice here. We have two people here. Somebody is choosing between two people or two paths. And that's what causes the ending. So there's definitely going to be an ending here. This is a new life. So starting a new life, this is the beginning. It is definitely the beginning. With you know, it's going to be a lot of work, but you I have you are about your your business or your you know whatever it is is about to grow. After you release this negative energy, there is negative versus positive. Whoever this negative individual is, they're the ones that is going bye bye. This is very, very good news, okay? You're going to be receiving some good news. And somebody's going to be following their heart. They are. They're going to be following their heart in a new direction after they have been staying put in a dark place. So anyway, good luck. This is a life-changing week.